What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Out of Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing alright. Can't complain. Today we're going to be reacting to 10 African countries where black Americans can relocate to start a new life. This will be dope. I feel like black people all over the world, we can, re we can go here and start our own place. Because you got to think about it. Black people are... I feel like... I can't even say black Americans. I feel like this skin color, which I love, don't get me wrong, we've been dealt a hand that requires so much obstacles, you know, from the start, it requires so much, and you gotta know how to maneuver through it and all that good stuff, but yeah, let's get on to it, you know. Hi. In today's video, we will try to highlight African countries which would be good destinations for black people living in the diaspora looking to relocate to the motherland. The 10 countries have been chosen because they are majority black nations, stable, peaceful, and others have historical significance to our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. Africans in diaspora in this case refers to the whole black nation outside Africa living in Jamaica, the US, Haiti, Brazil, Colombia, Cuba, and other regions. Number 10. Rwanda. Rwanda is a small landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley where the African Great Lakes region and East Africa converge. Located to the south of Uganda, the small country is likened to Singapore due to their ease of doing business, which tops on the continent. The country has a population of 12 million very welcoming people who would readily accept Africans from the diaspora. Rwanda's climate is warm and very humid, which would be a good place to start a new life as an expert or an entrepreneur. The Rwandan economy has embraced a lot of startup technology and any investor from the African diaspora would be welcomed. Number 9. Tanzania Tanzania is an East African country known for its vast wilderness areas. They include the plains of Serengeti National Park, a safari maker populated by lions, elephants, zebras, and many more. Tanzania has a population of 60 million people and a GDP of 63 billion US dollars. The climate is tropical and coastal and the country has low crime rate. Key sectors of the economy are agriculture, industry, and service sector. An Africa from the diaspora can easily start a business in tourism sector or get employed depending on academic qualifications. There are immense job opportunities, especially for English speakers in entrepreneurship. Number 8. Uganda Uganda is a landlocked country in East Africa whose diverse landscape encompasses the snow capped Rensori Mountains. Sorry, sorry to pause. One thing I hate about what people do is people make Africa look like it's a poor country, continent. I don't want to say country, continent. Like everywhere poor, like everybody. Fighting and struggling to find clean water, internet, uh, advanced technology, I mean, investment opportunities, education. Yes, like anywhere around the world, Africa does have its places where it has its places like that, you know what I mean, where you're not getting certain things, right? But it does have its belly and its, I mean, uh, we all call it, what is called a place in California? Uh, Rodeo Drive. I'm pretty sure they have a Gucci store somewhere in Africa or a Louis Vuitton store somewhere in Africa. That whole concept you tell me no designer is there. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So, you know what I mean? It's there. Pro probably in the cities, probably like in a large, it'd be a large developer, of course. But I don't like how people make it seem like Africa, oh, they poor. All them poor. All them broke. And little do you know, some of the richest people in the world 
Billionaires come from Africa. I just said they put that two cents in. It's an immense liquid. And I really it's want to go. Abundant wildlife includes gorillas, chimpanzees, as well as rare birds. Uganda has a population of 45 million people and a GDP of 30 billion US dollars. See? Just like its neighboring Tanzania, the climate in Uganda is warm tropical. Key sector of the economy are agriculture, industry, and service sector. An African from the diaspora can easily start a business in tourism sector or get employed depending on academic qualifications. There are immense job opportunities, especially for English speakers. Zambia. Zambia is a country in the southern part of Africa with beautiful landscape and diverse wildlife. The English-speaking country of 20 million people is a very hospitable place. The climate here is tropical and warm. Zambia is a country in need of more investment and entrepreneurship which the Africans in the diaspora can provide. Living in Zambia as an African-American would be easy and fulfilling since the nation has a very stable political environment. From running a tour and travel company to doing music, film and teaching, the opportunities here are many, including owning import-export companies. Number 6. Kenya Kenya is a Kenya. country in East Africa with a coastline on the Indian Ocean. Known as the safari capital of Africa in the country, has majestic landscape and beautiful national parks with wildlife. The English-speaking country of 50 million people ranks third on ease of doing business in Africa. Kenya is also known as the Silicon Savannah because of its huge investment in emerging technologies like mobile money and having the fastest internet on the continent. Kenya's climate is tropical warm with cool climate in highland areas around Mount Kenya. There are job opportunities waiting for Africans in diaspora with the necessary skills in field, entertainment, education, medicine, technology and many other fields. The country is a democracy with a stable political environment. I like, I like Kenya. Kenya and South, South Africa. Number five, Nigeria. Nigeria is an African country on the Gulf of Guinea with many natural landmarks and wildlife reserves. The English-speaking country with over 200 million people is home to Africa's largest economy. Nigeria is a net exporter of crude oil. With the climate and culture almost similar to that one of Ghana, most Africans in diaspora would find a comfortable living here. The country has immense investment opportunities due to its large population that would provide the necessary market. From film, fashion to music, Nigeria is like heaven to entrepreneurs or to those looking forward to start their own business. Number 4. Congo and Gabon. Congo Brazzaville and Gabon are French speaking countries along the Atlantic coast of Central Africa. The two countries are sparsely populated with thick forests and undiscovered national parks. The countries are also awash with oil money after both discovered huge reserve of crude oil. Ancestors of the Africans in Brazil, Colombia, Jamaica, and Cuba were taken from this region. It would make a great experience for the Africans in diaspora to make that connection. There are great opportunities for entrepreneurship like setting up coffee shops, IT companies, and fashion industries. Building and construction businesses are also in great demand here. I must add, Africans are very smart. To me, not no disrespect, but like say for people who are advanced tech, technical wise, I'll say China, then Africa has to be second. Africa would be second. Yeah. The climate is equatorial and warm, similar to the one in Jamaica or Brazil, and the two countries are generally peaceful.
Number three, South Africa. South Africa is a country on the southernmost tip of the African continent. That's why we go. The country is the most developed and politically stable nation on the continent. That's scary for me. African Americans relocating here, most cities in South Africa are no different from those ones in the U.S. The country has a highly developed manufacturing sector with the only vehicle manufacturing on the continent. So the yeah. African economy is also very much rivaled only by that one of Nigeria. I told you all. There are immense job opportunities in manufacturing, hospitality and entertainment sectors in South Africa. I told you all. They get you Beverly Hills in Rodeo Drive. South Africa, man. Number so two, Senegal. Senegal is a country in West Africa and most ancestors of African Americans, Haitians, Dominicans, Cubans, and Jamaicans came from here. This is why this nation holds a historical significance to Africans in the diaspora. The French-speaking country of 15 million people has one of the most stable political environment on the continent. The people are welcoming and there are opportunities for entrepreneurship, especially in tourism and hospitality industry. The climate is tropical and hot since some parts of Senegal are semi-arid. And finally, our number one, Ghana. Ghana is a country located along the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean in the sub-region of West Africa. The Gold Coast of Ghana is where the ancestors of African Americans, Haitians, Cubans and Jamaicans came from. Ghana holds that special place in their heart and that is why most Africans in diaspora visit or wish to get there. Ghana has one of Africa's fastest growing economies and a booming mining industry. The country is also industrializing at a fast rate, providing so much opportunities for investors and job seekers. Unlike most countries on this list, getting citizenship in Ghana for Africans in the diaspora is easy. See, if it's easy, people. We don't have to stay and pr I mean oppressed and, and and broke, hungry, poor. You know what I mean? There's like countries like Africa, you know, and Canada. That's what you know. What we don't want the white man stuff. We don't want it. We also go to one country and we could start our own shit. We could start our own TV. This is this right here is where my own TV network is gonna start from, believe it or not. I'm speaking into existence. This little camera and my little 500 and, what, 511 subscribers, this is where my multi-billion dollar uh, TV station, telecommunication, all that stuff, production, all of that is gonna start from here. AM Island Vibes is gonna be the next bigger than Warner Brothers, and Sony picture, pictures, all of that. They're all owned by white people. We don't have no black people on it. So this is the start. We're gonna start with this. You know, and I'm gonna ask you guys to support me, help me, push me. If you see I ain't uploading, hit me up. Talk bad to me, let me know, boy, you ain't uploading enough. You fucking up already. Right, tighten up, pardon my language. Tighten up, you, you, you're messing up. You're making us look bad, you know what I mean? And I don't, and listen, oh my gosh. I want to employ my people. And when I mean my people, I don't mean people just from the Turks and Caicos. I want to employ people of my skin complexion. You know what I mean? Not that I have anything against black or white people, but black people, do, I know me, I know us. We could do it better or we could do, it's something about black people. When we do stuff, we do it with passion and we, when we end, we end. Not saying, like I said, this is, this, this, I'm not, I can't speak for nobody else. I only speak for me and our race, my race, you know? 
I, I can't dispute that much, but I'm just saying. This is this is the this is the start. Alright, but help me, support me, share the video, help this grow to be the ultimate TV station, all of that. I know it could be. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, smile, joyful, laugh, and play. And until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.